Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's morning ramble. And today's ramble was prompted by a conference that I'm going to be speaking at in June. And you can get tickets online. It's a virtual conference at 3pconference.org. And the organizers were asking me what I wanted to speak about. And there's something that I have been noticing a lot lately. And, and, and so I, I told them the title of the talk I wanted to give was, was called Reality. What a concept. And it comes from the title of one of the first albums I ever owned, which was a comedy album with Robin Williams. But the idea behind it relates to how we relate to this concept that we call reality. And so for a lot of people, they're if, if you ask them, well, what, what, what does Michael Neal teach? What, are, what is the inside-out understanding? They would use a quote from the Inside Out Revolution, which is, we live in the feeling of our thinking, not the feeling of our circumstances, not the feeling of the world. We live in an experience of thought, not an experience that is directly coming from anything beyond us, outside us. And that still seems to me to, to sum it up. But I know how a lot of people hear that is the mind works like a random feeling generator. So if I happen to have this thought, I'll have this feeling. If I have that thought, I'll have this feeling. So it sort of suggests that the ultimate mind skill, mind management skill, would be learning to control our thinking so that we can think just the thoughts that give us the feelings we want and stop thinking the thoughts that give us the feelings we don't want. But there's two problems with that. First is the word random. Our thinking is a lot more arbitrary than we tend to think it is. But the second is, it's not so much that reality is this constant and we're just thinking different things about it and feeling different things about it. It's that that which we call reality is in and of itself made out of thought. So in a way, the mind is a random reality generator. Thought is a random reality generator. And depending on the reality you're in in any given moment, you'll feel certain ways. And if you're in a terrifying reality, you'll feel terrified a lot of the time. And if you're in a threatening reality, you'll feel under threat and you'll do whatever you've learned to do to handle threat. And that's why changing your thinking about something, A, doesn't really work because it's random so that you'll have a new thought and then you'll have the old thought and then you'll have a completely new thought. But it's because we think we're thinking about something fixed when in fact we're just thinking and it appears to us like a constant reality like a virtual reality helmet that we're living inside like the holodeck from star trek that we're we're doing our best to function in as if it was really happening now that may make total sense to you that may make conceptual sense, but have no influence on how you live your life. Or you might get a feeling from it. And that's what it is for me. When I think of, oh, well, we live in the feeling of our thinking and the random feeling generator, then I kind of can handle my moods with more grace. But when I get present with the idea that I'm living inside a random reality generator, that the reality I'm seeing around me, the economy, the health of the, uh, of the world, the whole concept of business or, or, or illness or death, that that's part of this random reality generator. I get very present. I get kind of humble. I get kind of... almost like I'm, I'm ready to be surprised by life instead of doing my best to cope with how I've already decided life is. So, we call these rebels for a reason. If, if there was something prompted for you in this one, please share it in the comment section below. And until next time, have fun, learn heaps, and I'll talk with you soon.